surface water I won't go under, I won't drown When I'm in, over my head I know that you won't let me down When I'm broken And down to nothing I know that you are always up to something good took me 114 times of asking for you to let me be captain for a day. I can't believe you kept track. Now, what is all this? It's my makeshift mission control center. From here, I can monitor everything inside and outside the building. Well, it looks like you've thought of everything. You're gonna be a great captain. I'm so grateful to have the chance. <laughs> can I give you a bit of advice? Of course. Okay, so if something goes wrong, and I'm not saying that it will, but if it does, don't forget to be thankful. I say it like this. I can be thankful when things are good and when they're not. Well, I'm as grateful as can be, so I wouldn't worry about that. Well, I know that this place is in good hands. <laughs> is something wrong? 
my command center isn't responding. Maybe we should plug it in. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, you'll be great. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Jake, and this is how I learn to be grateful, even when things are bad. So, what are we looking at here, Captain? I've got a plan to strategically bring more people to Connect HQ. I've set up lemonade stands all around the community to raise awareness for what we do here. Great idea, Jake. Thanks. I've got Tony down there running the whole operation. We're just waiting on a lemon delivery, which should be here any minute. Oh, what is it? I got a call this morning. The lemons aren't coming. What? They said there was a late frost that caused a shortage. No lemons until next week. No lemons. Got a bunch of lemonade stands, but no lemons. Can't have lemonade without lemons. We have other things, like potatoes. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Potato juice. Potato juice stands. Everyone likes potato juice, right? No. Oh, you're right. We're doomed. How can I be thankful for this day when I don't have what we need for success? Well, I don't think we're doomed. I know this verse from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Say it with me like this. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Give thanks no matter what happens. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. So because of Jesus, I have a lot to be thankful for. That's right. We can still be thankful. I can be thankful when things are good and when they're not. So, what are we going to do, Captain? First and foremost, stay grateful that Connect HQ is still standing. Why don't you stay here and monitor the command center while I go see if you have any lemons in the building? Sounds good. Uh-oh. I should check in with Tony. Tony, come in, Tony. Tony, do you read? Hey, yeah, uh, hi, Jake, I read. Um, any luck on finding those lemons? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Any customers yet? Oh, yeah, we actually uh, have one just showed up. Okay, well, stall until I can find a lemon. Oh, um, okay, will do. Hey, sir, uh, what will be your order today? Uh, one lemonade, please. One lemonade. Hold the lemon, you got it. Uh, hold the lemon? You mean sugar and water? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, no, I like lemons in my lemonade. Oh, um, ooh, yeah, okay, yeah, we can do that. Um, but first, <laughs> let me show you this, uh, a magic trick. <laughs> um, lemon, lemon. There's gotta be a lemon around here somewhere. Aha, a lemon. Uh, Captain, sir? Harper, I found a lemon. There's a leak in the basement. I can't believe I found one. This is so great. This is just... Did you say there's a leak in the basement? Yes. Oh, no. Here, look. I saw it at the command center. What's happening? I don't know. It was working before. The satellite must be acting up. There's a leak in the basement and the satellite is on the fritz. <sighs> But that's okay. I'm still grateful that I have one lemon. I can be thankful when things are good and when they're not. We'll just call Maurice. He can fix it. Great idea. I'll go find him. Hey, Jake. Any luck on finding those lemons? I got one, but there are other problems now. Keep stalling. Hey. Do you want to hear the longest joke in the world? It's okay. Maurice will fix the satellite and we'll help him deal with the basement leak. Nothing to worry about. I've got lots to be thankful for. Maurice went on vacation. I haven't got anything to be thankful for. 
Maurice can't go on vacation on a day like today. We could call a plumber or a satellite repairman. It's worth a shot. Hey, Harper, have you ever used this headset to make a phone call? Yeah, why? Is it supposed to sound like this? No. And now something's wrong with the phones. I can be thankful when things are good and when they're not. Ow! What happened? I stubbed my toe. That's it. Today was supposed to be an amazing day. The lemonade stands were supposed to help people find Kick HQ and learn about Jesus, but now that's all ruined. I can't be thankful for a day like today. What about Tony? I'm sure he's fine. Can I have my lemonade now, please? Oh, yeah, sure, let me just go downstairs. Let me check to see if I can find it. Hmm, it wasn't down there. You know what? Let me take the elevator. Let me see if I can find it in the elevator. Nope, it wasn't down there either. You know what? Let me canoe across the river and let me see if I can find it. S sir, I'm late for work. It's okay, I got it. Captain Ray? Hmm, let me guess. Everything's not okay? I don't want to be Captain for a day anymore. What? But you were so excited. Yeah, I was. Today was my big day and I was so prepared but it turned out to be the worst day ever. I don't understand why God would let this happen. Well, what happened to you saying, I can be thankful when things are good and when they're not? I tried, and I could be grateful if I only had one thing to deal with, the lemons, but then there was the leak, and then the satellite, and then the phones. It wouldn't stop. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I stubbed my toe. That does sound bad. Thanks. <laughs> It helps to get it all out and talk about it. I want to show you something. This is a story from Acts. It's about Paul and Silas. Here, let's watch. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. I've had a hard day. Our new puppy chewed a hole in my favorite shirt. My brother ate the last of the cereal and I stepped in a puddle and my socks got all wet. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also bit my tongue. Hard days remind me of Paul and Silas in the book of Acts. Trust me, they had some really hard days. Kinda like my day? Even worse, Paul and Silas went all the way to Rome to teach people about Jesus. They did amazing things there through God's power. That all sounds pretty great to me. Well, some people didn't like it. They took Paul and Silas to the city rulers and accused them of causing trouble. Then, the rulers ordered soldiers to beat Paul and Silas with wooden rods. That's awful! It was. Then they put Paul and Silas in prison and told the jailer to make sure they didn't escape. Were Paul and Silas really upset? Actually, they prayed and sang songs of praise to God while the other prisoners listened. Then, around midnight, there was a huge earthquake. Great, so things got even worse? No, they got better. As the prison shook, the doors flew open and the prisoners' chains fell off. Then- Wait, let me guess. Paul and Silas and all the other prisoners escaped? That's what the jailer thought too. When he woke up and found the prison doors open, he thought all the prisoners must have gotten out. He was so afraid, he took out his sword to kill himself. What? Why would he do that? He thought the soldiers would kill him anyway for not doing his job. But just then, Paul called out to him from inside the jail. He said, wait, don't kill yourself. See, we're all still here. Wait, 
You mean no one escaped? That's right. Since Paul and Silas chose to praise God, even though they were wrongfully imprisoned, all the prisoners were amazed. They did the right thing. They didn't escape, even when they had the chance. The jailer must have been really happy. He was. He took Paul and Silas to his house, where they ate a meal together. And Paul and Silas got to tell everyone in the jailer's family about Jesus. Everyone believed and was baptized. Wow, Paul and Silas made a big difference, even on a hard day. Yep, even when things were hard, they showed everyone that God is always good, no matter what else is going on. You know what? God is good. All the time. I can't believe they were thrown in prison just for talking about Jesus. That's not fair. It's not, but were they mad at God for it? No, they had thankful hearts. They worship Him in prison. And when we are really grateful, it makes us feel better and shows others God's goodness too. <laughs> You're so right. God created you, made you, and gave you His Son Jesus to die and take the punishment for your sins. And even when it's hard to be grateful, the Holy Spirit reminds us of Jesus' sacrifice. And we can be grateful no matter what. Is that what you do when you're having a bad day? Oh yeah, I have to. Being captain is hard. It reminds me of this one time. Oh hey, I don't know if I just never noticed this or not, but is there supposed to be a whole colony of rats living in the kitchen? What? No. Rats? That sounds awful. Oh, it was. Bad things happen, and when they do, we need to talk about them. But when we build a thankful heart, when bad things do happen, we don't have to let them take our thankfulness away. I'm grateful that I don't have to deal with these kind of emergencies every day. But someday, if I become captain, you're the kind of captain I want to be. Thanks, Jake. So does that mean you're not giving up? No way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mess to clean up and a thankful heart to build. <laughs> let me know if you need some help. Thanks for letting me talk it out, Captain. The lemon is on its way to Tony. Great! I found out why the phones were on the fritz and the satellite is running on auxiliary power until Maurice gets back. That's great. What about the leak? Plumber is on his way. We've got lots to be thankful for. We sure do. I can be thankful when things are good and when they're not. It's been a pleasure working with you, Captain. Thanks, Harper. I just hope Tony feels the same way. I'm sure he hasn't had an easy day running a lemonade stand without any lemons. Guess what? Ta-da! Lemon! Great. Can I have my lemonade now? But of course! Because <laughs> I, I totally know how to make lemonade. <laughs> okay, here I go. Uh, Voila! Whoa, a lemonade. Um, eh, well, can't win them all. It's good. Hi, my name is Jake, and I'm part of Connect HQ. The Bible tells us this in the book of 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Say it with me like this. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. When you choose to follow Jesus, you have a lot to be thankful for. Paul and Silas got thrown in prison for following Jesus and talking about Him. It wasn't fair and they could have been mad at God. Instead, they had thankful hearts. They worshiped God in prison, and because of their choice to stay grateful, people chose to follow Jesus. I was so excited to be captain for the day, super grateful for the opportunity. But when everything went wrong, I became ungrateful really fast. It helped to talk it out. Once I remembered all that God has done for me, I felt a lot better. I was able to have a thankful heart despite my bad situation, and now I know, I can be thankful when things are good and when they're not. Find ways to stay grateful every day. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you.